got me. We do a lot of pattern tutorials on our channel, which is why Orca reached out to us about doing a collaboration. Orca is a company from Spain that makes products for triathletes. You might recognize them by their wetsuits. Correction, they are a New Zealand company that is operated out of Spain. Being an outdoor company, obviously Orca cares a lot about the environment. Wetsuits can provide a challenge for the environment because they're made of a material called neoprene. Unfortunately, recycling neoprene creates a large carbon footprint and not much raw material is salvaged in the process. Oh no, my hair got caught. <laughs> the good news is after your wetsuit is too worn out to wear, you can use it to make something else just as great. Get the hair in the cap. Get the hair in the cap. Oh, Whoa, we did it. making something new out of something that's worn out is called upcycling, and that's actually our challenge for today. And so, we're gonna take this worn out wetsuit and we're gonna turn it into a fancy schmancy beach bag just like this one. I'm cutting this zipper out as cleanly as possible because I'm going to be using it again later on in the project. Next I open the wetsuit up, turning it into one large section of fabric. The pattern for this beach bag is very simple. One giant rectangle around two feet by three feet. I'm setting the leg pieces aside to use later on in the project. As you can see, there are still folds in the fabric and it doesn't lay completely flat. I'm pinning the excess fabric into folds to correct for that. Whenever you hear the following chime, that means I've used my sewing machine to make a seam. In this instance, my seams were located at the base of the folds I just pinned up. This makes the fabric now lay permanently flat in that area. Exact same process here, pinning the excess fabric up and seaming it together at the base. Since neoprene is a knit material, that means you can cut off excess fabric without using any hems or surges. It also means it's stretchy, so make sure to always use a stretch stitch. Here I'm marking my rectangle body at two feet wide. Now I'm cutting straight edges so I can add more fabric to the length to make it three feet wide. One of the legs from earlier almost covers the entire distance. One final piece to fill in the last gap. have our rectangle body. Time to place the grommets for the handles, two inches down and eight inches apart. With the stretch fabric, cutting the holes for the grommets as physically small as possible is crucial. Otherwise, the grommets will come out really easily during use. our zipper from before? Well, it turns out it's two feet wide just like our pattern piece. This will be the opening at the top of the bag. Zipper sewn to first side. Zipper sewn to second side. Side seams of the bag. Almost done. Time to add a base to the bag. This is created by folding the bottom corner out diagonally and sewing a seam across as shown. 
excess fabric is trimmed off. Finally, a second seam of the same size is added on the other bottom corner. Excess fabric is trimmed off, the bag is turned right side out, and sewing is now complete. One final step, two lengths of rope that can fit through the grommet are cut about as long as the width of the bag. Ends are melted, the rope is fed through the grommets, and knots are tied in the ends. The bag is now finished. Time to see how it turned out. Ha, ha, ha.